Troops in Kuwait continue readiness training through their Granite Shield initiative. These troops show they can be just as dangerous without their weapons. Level one, we do clinch drills, which basically you're getting punched and you can't punch back. It, it can, relax. you can really hurt our, yeah, you can really hurt someone with this training. <laughs> if you know how to do it right, you can really hurt someone with this training. Soldiers enrolled in the course not only learn, but are expected to instruct in order to understand the intricacies of every move. It's very visual. And like me, I'm a visual person, so hands-on is a good thing in this class. A lot of people learn more with hands-on. You're very interactive. You get to show motion step by step so everybody can see what's going on. I'm going to reach this hand up and across, put the thumb inside the collar, take this hand underneath to try to get the <laughs> cross collar, pull this up, put it behind the head, and reach across. <laughs> Soldiers say exercises covering a number of moves helps prepare them as they move through the different levels. They also learn the importance of knowing when they've had enough. There you go. Your opponent has the option to tap. And if you don't have to tap, to, if he had option to tap, if he fails to tap, either he go ahead and take a nap or he snap. Your choice is his. So like I say, it's a control lethal method. He's out. He's out. Stop. 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 While there are risks involved, instructors hope more soldiers get certified. You're right relying on their battle buddies to see them through the training. <laughs> Sergeant Jenny Fisher, Camp Arif John, Kuwait. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.